Last year was full of excellent games. But the fun doesn't stop now. 2019 is here and it's bringing with it some truly incredible titles. We're sticking with games that have a confirmed 2019 release date, which means no Halo Infinite or Death Stranding. Without further ado, let's dig in. Resident you Evil 2. Be kidding me. Players won't have to wait long to revisit the creepy Raccoon City, because the Resident Evil 2 remake is coming out this January. Capcom has taken the beloved classic from 1998 and given it a new look of paint. Actually, it's more like they've rebuilt it from the ground up. The remake will see players taking on the role of Leon or Claire in a new third-person perspective. This new view means zombies had to be reworked and scares had to be rethought. Even the many puzzles are being revamped, which should make the entire experience fresh. If you remember the location of every item from the original, prepare to memorize some new spots. Somebody give me my jam! Crackdown 3 it's been a long time coming, but Crackdown 3 is almost upon us. Announced back in 2014, Crackdown 3 has undergone a lot of development, and for a while there, players were worried that it had been cancelled. These worries were compounded by the bevy of delays the game had received, but it all appears worth the wait. The developers behind the third entry, Sumo Digital, took this extra time to really capitalize on the Microsoft Azure technology. This new tech is fancy cloud computing, allowing for highly destructible environments. Though this highlighted destruction is limited to the multiplayer mode, the single player side isn't looking to disappoint. Players can expect to experience the iconic Crackdown sandbox with upgrading skills, explosive combat, and of course, agility orbs to collect. Days Gone. Sony continues to kick goals with their PlayStation 4 exclusives, and Days Gone is shaving up to be a killer. The team at SIE Ben Studio have made zombies terrifying again. The zombies in Days Gone are fast, frantic, and rush in huge groups. Players will not want to alert these zombies, which is where the audio plays an important role. Whether you're slinking through a forest or taking down some gang members, you'll need to think carefully about how much sound you're making. Too much noise is going to attract a seething mass of zombies that will come crashing and tumbling over everything in their path. And that's just in the daytime. At night, the zombies become even more dangerous and ferocious. Anthem BioWare has long been held in high regard for crafting truly immersive worlds, and Anthem looks to continue that trend. Players will get to climb into their javelin exosuits and fly around the vast, lush worlds of Anthem, killing all sorts of aliens along the way. With four different classes to choose from and untold customization, you'll be able to spend hours collecting loot and tweaking your javelin exactly how you like it. Beyond the single player experience, Anthem is also a deeply co-op experience. Players can team up with two other friends to take on challenges missions and assignments, and experience everything this open world has to offer. It's been a long time since we got to lose ourselves in a great Bioware world, and we can't wait to get lost in Anthem. The Division 2 we couldn't get enough of The Division when it first launched back in 2016, and we're certain we're going to dive into the sequel. The Division 2 is set to launch on March 15th, and players all around the globe are preparing to survive the destroyed Washington, D.C. Customizing your weapons is going to be a massive part of The Division 2, with all sorts of mods and components available for unlock and purchase. And trust us, creating the perfect build is going to be very important, as the 8 player raids will no doubt be extremely challenging. We're fairly certain a whole lot of our time in 2019 is going to be spent strategizing with our friends about the best places to get loot in The Division 2. Last, but certainly not least, is Shikiro Shadows Die Twice. Set in the 16th century Sudoku period Japan, Sekiro places the gamers into the shoes of a shinobi, a highly skilled warrior adept at swordplay. However, his abilities don't end there. After losing his arm in battle, the main character receives a prosthetic limb with all sorts of inspector gadget-like tools. Is an enemy using a wooden shield? Use a fire attack to break it away. Surrounded by enemies? Throw a handful of shuriken to weaken them. Despite all of these advantages, Sekiro is still a From Software game, which means players should expect a certain level of difficulty. It's still early, and 2019 holds a lot of secrets, but these are some of the biggest games to look forward to this year. We just wish that Cyberpunk 2077 and The Last of Us Part 2 had a release date. Let us let us know in the comments below some of the games you're looking forward to this year, or some you hope get 2019 release dates. 